Have you thought about owning casino stocks? Now, I'm not talking about blue chip stocks. Rather, I'm talking about stocks in casinos, like those you'll find in Las Vegas or Macau. If you've seen any one of my videos before, you'll know that I usually do a top 15 or even a top 20 list. Well, there really aren't that many publicly traded casinos to review. So for this video, I'm going to cover the four best casino stocks investors can consider for their portfolios. But before I begin, this video is brought to you by SureDividend. SureDividend helps investors find high quality income securities for their retirement and financial freedom portfolios. And the Sure Dividend newsletter analyzes their top 10 high quality dividend growth stocks each and every month. Now stay tuned, and I'll be giving you a coupon code for a nice discount. So, the house always wins, right? I mean, I dabble in blackjack, but look, casinos, they operate strong business models, as casinos earn a virtually guaranteed profit from gambling. Casino economics makes sense, as they have the odds stacked in their favor and make the industry worth a closer look. Investors are often curious about the earnings growth and dividends um, of the major casino stocks. And the four major publicly traded casino stocks were paying dividends to their shareholders before the COVID-19 pandemic. And they either suspended or drastically reduced their dividends due to the severe downturn in their business. Now, if a dividend cut is a non-starter for you, you might want to consider a safer basket of dividend growth stocks, like the dividend aristocrats. And by the way, here's a video about some of the top dividend aristocrats you might want to check out. And in case you don't know, dividend aristocrats are an elite group of 65 stocks on the S&P 500 index, with 25 plus years of rising dividends. Alright, so casinos carry a fair amount of risk. They're highly vulnerable to recessions, as consumers typically cut back on gaming when times are tough. The four major casino stocks saw their earnings collapse during the Great Recession. And a similar impact has taken place over the past year due to the coronavirus crisis. For this video, I'm covering four stocks, in order from the least attractive to the most attractive. Expected returns are incorporated in the rankings and are provided by Sure Dividend. Now, before I get into these four stocks, I wanted to give you a little background on the casino industry. The industry is having a tough time right now. COVID-19 and the global recession have taken their toll on casino stocks. The large U.S. casinos are also heavily reliant on Macau, the largest gaming market in the world and the only market in China where casinos are legal. As a result, these stocks are very sensitive to developments that affect gaming activity in Macau. This was a significant concern several years ago. In, in 2014, China initiated an anti-corruption regulatory crackdown, which greatly reduced the gaming, in, gaming activity in the area. Fortunately, the casino, for the casinos, the downturn lasted for approximately two years, and gaming activity in Macau recovered. Then, the gaming activity in Macau faced another headwind, mostly because of the trade war because, between the U.S. and China. And this headwind only lasted for about a year, but now Macau is facing its strongest challenge ever, the outbreak of the coronavirus, which has caused a huge hit in the gaming business. Casinos were shut down for an extended period due to the coronavirus, and as a result, gross gaming revenue plunged in 2020 and the start of 2021. However, gaming activity has shown a return to year-over-year -year growth starting in February. Gaming revenue has posted year-over-year -year growth in each month uh, since then. For example, July's gross gaming revenue increased 528% from the same month last year. And year-to-date gaming revenue has increased 64%. And this could be the start of a recovery if the pandemic subsides further throughout 2021. 
Still, the high sensitivity of casino stocks to all the developments related to China means that investors should pick casino stocks carefully. So here we go. Our first casino stock on the list is Wynn Resorts. Wynn Resorts owns and operates Wynn Macau and the Wynn Palace in Macau, as well as Wynn Las Vegas and Encore Las Vegas. And the company is facing coronavirus headwinds in all the regions in which it operates. In the second quarter of 2021, operating revenue soared to 990 million from just 86 million in the same quarter last year. Even so, the company still posted a net loss of 131 million, or $1.15 per share. But this was a big improvement from the $5.97% share loss in the same period a year ago. Wynn Palace opened just two years ago, and it has lots of room to grow. Also, Wynn Resorts completed its building of Encore Boston Harbor and opened its doors to this integrated resort and casino in Everett, Massachusetts in June of 2019. Also, Wynn Resorts aims to expand to Japan, which legalized casino gambling three years ago. It was expected that it would take several years before the company opens uh, casinos in the country, even before the impact of COVID-19 was felt. Another potential growth catalyst for Wynn Resorts is interactive gaming. The company has heavily invested in this area through, the, through its Wynn Interactive Unit, which offers casino and sports betting on mobile devices. Its brands include BetBull, WinBet, and WinSlots. The company estimates it can generate over $700 million from interactive gaming in 2023, and the company has secured market access in 15 states, with another nine states in negotiations. Wynn Resorts has grown its earnings per share at an average annual rate of 5.3% during the last decade. And Sure Dividend maintains a 4% growth rate through 2026, as they believe that it may take consumers longer to return to places of large crowds, even after casinos are allowed to have more patrons. Wynn suspended its dividend during the pandemic and has not reinstated the dividend yet, making this stock relatively unappealing for income investors. As a result, only those who can handle extreme stock price volatility and have the confidence in the ability of Wynn Resorts to navigate through the current crisis may consider buying the stock, but even those investors might want to wait for a better entry point. Okay, so the next top casino stock on the list is MGM Resorts. MGM Resorts owns and operates casinos, hotels, and conference halls in the U.S. and China. But unlike Wynn and the others, MGM has the least exposure to Macau in this group of stocks. As a result, it suffered much less than its peers from the trade war between the U.S. and China, but it also struggled with the pandemic just like its peers. Due to the rapid spread of the coronavirus, MGM Resorts suspended all its casino operations in Las Vegas for a considerable amount of time. Fortunately, the company's operating results have recovered along with the industry. In the second quarter of 2021, their net revenue of 2.3 billion increased 683% from the same quarter last year, an operating income of $264 million compared with an operating loss of a billion dollars in the year-ago quarter. Adjusted earnings per share came to a loss at $0.13 cents for the second quarter, which was significantly smaller than the adjusted earning per share loss of $1.52 in the second quarter of 2020. On the bright side, MGM gained significant mark market share in its sports betting business, BetMGM. It launched this business in seven states and expects to be present in 20 states within the next 12 months. Due to the unprecedented downturn that has resulted from the pandemic, MGM Resorts cut its quarterly dividend by 98% in 2020, down to a token level of just one cent per share. 
On the bright side, on August 20th, 2020, IAC reported a 12% stake in MGM Resorts. IAC has a portfolio of brands and digital expertise, which is expected to help MGM Resorts leverage its digital assets. Sure Dividend expects business improvement this year thanks to the massive vaccination program that's underway, but they still expect MGM Resorts to post negative earnings per share for 2021. This means the company is unlikely to reinstate its full dividend anytime soon. As soon as the coronavirus comes to an end, MGM Resorts will benefit from these growth, growth drivers. Earnings per share are expected to gradually turn positive with an expected annual growth rate of 4% through 2026. After the massive dividend reduction, returns from dividends will be negligible until the full dividend is restored as earnings per share rebound. Finally, the market has already priced in a, a strong recovery in the stock, and Sure Dividend expects the valuation multiple of the stock to contract significantly in the upcoming years. And that could be an additional headwind for shareholders. So I guess with MGM, you might expect weak total returns over the next five years. Before I get to number three on the list, Remember that promo code I mentioned earlier for the Sure Dividend newsletter? Well, because you're watching this video, you can go ahead and use my coupon code FIM41OFF to lock in savings of $41 a year and get instant access to the newsletter with a 7-day free trial. I also went ahead and left you a link in the description below. All right, so casino stock number three on the list is Melco Resorts, a casino that owns and operates casino gaming and entertainment casino re resort facilities in Asia. As Melco Resorts is the most leveraged to the gaming activity in Macau, in this group of stocks, it's the most vulnerable company to the downturn in the area due to the coronavirus outbreak. Conditions deteriorated in 2020 due to the pandemic as revenue fell 70% for the year. Fortunately, the company has seen a strong recovery like its competitors in the past year. As the effect of coronavirus continues to fade, Melka Resorts has a promising growth prospect ahead. It will benefit from the ramp-up of activity in its Morpheus Resort, which opened in mid-2018, and will attract an increasing number of visitors in Kotai thanks to improvements in mass transportation. Melco Resorts is also expanding its City of Dreams in Macau and is developing City of Dreams Mediterranean, which will become the largest integrated resort in Europe. All these initiatives are likely to be significant growth drivers as soon as Macau returns to normal. Overall, Sure Dividend expects 2% annual growth rate on average in earnings per share over the next five years. The stock has had a 3% dividend yield before the pandemic, but the company has suspended its dividend for the foreseeable future in an effort to preserve cash. On the other hand, investors should remain cautious as the company is highly vulnerable to economic downturns and is very sensitive to any casino-related policy change in China. Last but not least, the fourth top casino stock on the list is Las Vegas Sands, a leading developer and operator of integrated resorts in the U.S. and Asia. While the coronavirus pandemic has significantly affected Las Vegas Sands, the company has promising growth prospects ahead. Due to the pandemic, Las Vegas Sands has suspended its dividend since early 2020. However, the company seems likely to restore its dividend when the pandemic subsides, most likely in late 2021 or 2022. Las Vegas Sands earns the top ranking thanks to these features as well as its strong balance sheet and healthy liquidity. Furthermore, Las Vegas Sands continues to pursue growth by expanding and upgrading its Macau properties. In addition, Las Vegas Sands will benefit from the debut of the light rail system connecting Macau to the entire China Rail Network. 
This project will significantly increase the traffic to casinos in Macau when the pandemic subsides and the strict travel restrictions in Macau are lifted. Thanks to all these growth drivers, Sure Dividend expects the company to grow its earnings per share by about 4% per year, year over year, over the next five years. Las Vegas Sands stock previously offered a hefty dividend of an annualized $3.08 per share, but the company suspended its dividend in 2020 because of the coronavirus crisis. If the company were to reinstate its dividend at the same level, shares would yield 7.5% at the current stock price. Las Vegas Sands reported its second quarter earnings on July 21st. Net revenue was $1.17 billion, compared to just $62 million in the prior year's quarter. Operating loss was $139 million, compared to $757 million in the 2020 second quarter. Separately, in March 2021, the company announced it will sell its Las Vegas real property and operations for $6.25 billion. Las Vegas Sands expects the transition to close in the fourth quarter, and the sale will help free up significant cash, which the company can use for a variety of purposes, including investing in growth and paying down debt. Sure Dividend also believes that Las Vegas Sands has the strongest balance sheet in its peer group. This means that the company is likely to perform better through the ongoing coronavirus crisis. All right, so... Gaming activity in Macau enjoyed a strong recovery from 2017 to 2019, but Macau is currently facing a severe downturn due to COVID-19. And the same is true for the U.S. as well, as the pandemic resulted in weak gaming revenues. On the bright side, the rollout of vaccines is steadily progressing, and as a result, the pandemic is likely to subside in the second half of 2021. However, this doesn't mean that investors should rush to buy casino stocks. Casino stocks are volatile, and none of the stocks pays a meaningful dividend, meaning investors should be especially careful before initiating a position. Guys, thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you in another video. Take care.